The, the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27. Here we go! Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. That brings us fourth and seven. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Virginia Tech staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. Quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium-range situations. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26. The counter. Tackle right around the 24 yard line. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at the 21. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Virginia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hokies are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That'll make it second and seven. 
from their own 28 yard line. It's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 44 yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. And he's hit immediately. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. So you have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Third and five situation. Ball on the 33. Western Michigan can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. It's second and 12. Ball on the 23. Him hard at the 33. Call it, Call it a gain, a gain of, 10 of 10 yards. yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up 32. 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's going to try and scramble. Can't wrap him up, and he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. We played one, and this one's knotted up at three. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Oh, excellent punt. 
He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Let's go! Fakes to the back. He delivers. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Good effort there by the receiver. But just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Four down, four down. Hey, 58 is a mic. Hot green and hot. He goes out of bounds at the 37. Bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He tackles him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. It's second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Complete. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. That'll bring up fourth and 13. It's away and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 28. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 34. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Down he goes at the 44. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. All a gain of two yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He 
stays at the 20. Makes it to the 14. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. That's a team four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 10. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 58 to Mike. 58 to Mike. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Western Michigan is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And, at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Darts it to the left. Incomplete pass. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, after review, review of the play, the, play, the, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. And he tackles him hard at the 48. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Out of bounds, the 47-yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That brings us second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 47. Quick throw out to the receiver. 
It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He gets to about the 34-yard line. We've played a half. This one's all even at six. Very close game now as we start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. They'll go Brown. Tackle at the 35-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First and 10. First ball on their own 35. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Play action. Now he's on the move. Lock down around the 47 yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That makes it from the 47 yard line. First down. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Go. 288. Go. Fires quickly to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. Call it a gain of 8 yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check three, check three. Check three. Check three. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down at the 22. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and eight. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Go! Here's a running play. They go to the left for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Go! And now he's got room to run. Nice play to set up first and goal. Gain of 13 on the play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. 
It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run, and they get the sack. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Here we go. 180. Why? 80. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop around the 28-yard line. Number 30 makes the set at the 28-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Broncos have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Virginia Tech is up seven. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. From their own 33-yard line, third down. Goes quickly back to the tight end. And this one is a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he hits him hard at the 33. Second and 13. Ball on the 33. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's leveled at the 48-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Let's go! Red 68! Red. On the ground with 
the tailback. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's three down and one to go. The Hokies with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. And 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. Come on. Steps up in the pocket. Nearly intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. And here's another third down. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 32. yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Complete brought down, nothing doing. It's third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Short over the middle. Touchdown, Western Michigan. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 64-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Western Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can for this one. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Sack makes this a second and long. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. And that's a defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. it all can't connect nothing clicking there let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series he puts it away and it's a great kick and he's taken down at the 46 yard line You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Just under three to go in regulation. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 25.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 23. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 17 yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He gets out to about the 15 yard line. where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Ready, green 90, green 90. Number 22, the receiver on the play. That brings him second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left. Touchdown, Broncos. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. And he tacks on the extra point. So an eight-play, 56-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 2013. Virginia Tech's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. go! Now he tries to buy some time, and he's taken down around the 35-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He airs it out, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. Zips it to the back. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Number 16 on the tackle at the 10 yard line. That makes it first and goal. He scrambled. And they got him.
So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 2013, Western Michigan. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Kerbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.